Hey, uh, so this is something new I'm trying. I've never done a live video feed before. I usually just do some videoing, uh, edit them together, and then upload them to YouTube later on. So I'm just uh, trying this out. Maybe this is going to be easier. That way I don't have to do any editing. So uh, here's my peat and pole with the fuselage on the operating table. Uh, I've been making great headway. Uh, in the last couple of days, uh, kids are in school. I've been home from work. I had a case of the COVID and it gave me a lot of time. I wasn't feeling that bad, just cold symptoms. And it gave me a lot of time to uh, make progress on the fuselage. So where am I at? Um, last, two day, uh, last night, I joined the tail together and that is clamped and curing back there. And um, I worked on the cross members and the diagonals for the bottom and the top of the fuselage below the turtle deck. So she's upside down right now. And there's some of them there. This is kind of all the wood for the pilot seat that I compiled. Um, where am I at? Okay, so I just squared up the frame on the nose. And she was tilted a little bit this way, like that. Just really slight, this much. I mean, it was nothing. So from diagonal to diagonal, it measures around 118 millimeters. And I was a little long on this side here. So I needed to bring this side over a little bit to square it up. And the way I went, I skinned this cat was these squares are clamped in because I know that is squared down there and the distance is proper. So then I clamped this piece of wood here like that. And then it was just a matter of using a clamp like this and here and then pulling on the frame just ever so slightly a little bit with this clamp, moved it over just a, a hair where now the diagonals are perfectly 100, like 118 millimeters uh, diagonal to diagonal. So that's proper and that's ready for uh, the uh, bulkhead to be uh, glued on whatever I want. Uh, but I'm gonna do the floor first and I trace a rough cut of the floor, traced out my lines, my glue lines. So that's ready to go on. And then uh, you're gonna know some funky apparatus right down here. Um, what I did was when I put the floor on and I'm gonna clamp down the side uh, on the left and the right side on the bottom of the floor and then, and then across the nose on the bottom. That's no problem getting clamping pressure that way. But the white ash cross members are here in the middle and putting that floor on there, um, I was you know concerned about how do I get pressure back this way. So I kind of came up with this idea and it, it, it should work just fine. Um, I have a, a two by uh, six here and uh, I used a six inch clamp and I reversed the jaws so I could spread it apart. It's now a spreader. And I just cut this little frame out like this so that it's just in position. So that when I put the floor on uh, and I'm gonna put some pavers down on top for pressure because I can't, you know, obviously I can't clamp that. I'm gonna use these pavers as weight. Um, I don't want the floor bowing down and pushing down in this direction. So this is gonna help to kind of push back or just not push back, but just not go anywhere. And I made one for the, uh, here as well, the rear landing gear, uh, Ash cross member. I uh, cut the pilot seat back the other day too, slipped it over the uh, gussets. Um, I made a little notch in there because I just wanted to go over. It just looked a little cleaner to me. You know, the plans just call for that just being cut square like that. Uh, so that's just sitting in place. And once I get the floor on, um, 
I think I'll work on the cross members and the diagonals uh, back here on the bottom. And then uh, I may flip it. I'm not sure when I'm going to put the nose on. You know, um, I don't see any reason why I couldn't put the nose on so right along with or after I get the floor on. So uh, that's about it. Let's see. Is there a live chat? Yeah, there's a live chat. Welcome to the live chat. Remember to guard. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know. If the, this is the first time I've done this, so. You know, I'm not going to, this isn't going to be a super long one video because I'm just trying this feature out for the first time. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you what I've done? Uh, the nose is squared up. It's ready for the floor. Um, how did I get it? Well, it's, it's, by the way, so the whole plane is 24 inches outside to outside. So the measurement from the long runs is uh, 23 and three quarters because you have to account for the one three quarters, so you have to count for the one eighth inch apply over here for the side, and the one eighth inch over there. Um, she the nose is just directly flush with the edge of the table, and she's square all the way back. And then I put these blocks here and here, so it doesn't go anywhere left or right. And that spacing is also the same. A uh, little deviation from the plan. So um, there's a taper which starts here. And I think you only have like 22 inches at the pilot's shoulders, something like that. And I just I just uh, made it 23. That's all I did. I added a half inch to each side. And my taper um, uh, starts here, but it um, doesn't go as, as sharp, as tight in. Uh, I'm a 42 inch chest, 200 pounds. This is the day is long, and I just need wanted an extra inch in the sh in the shoulders, up there in the seat. So, let's see. Here's my shop. That's pretty much it. Two car garage. That was a sailboat over there I built years ago. There's some of my clamps, some of my clamps, more of my clamps. Kind of do stuff here, watch YouTube videos and look at the plans there. Uh, keep all my books there. I got the tail sections hanging up here, the elevators, vertical stab and the rudder. The horizontal stab is done. Uh, the ribs were done by Steve Williamson. Uh, rest in peace, Steve. Uh, there's my fuselage sides. Just gonna cut, rip that down the middle of those are my two sides i've got all the wood here for everything the wing and the fuselage is all sitting here in these uh two boxes some practice ribs you know place is a mess but if you ain't making a mess you ain't doing it right right or you ain't doing nothing at all so this probably dragged on a little oh eight minutes now jesus a lot longer than i wanted to take care thanks for tuning in Hope I got some new subscribers. And sorry about my voice. It's made for silent uh, movies. You look at it and show my face, which was made for radio. See ya. Bye.